Okay, you swabbies, now step right up and get your tickets to a Roman orgy and craft tournament. Only a month. Hey, remember, mates, Lester's been laid up in the hospital a whole week. Come on, fellas, stay. Give Gruber a new start in life. Oh, hurry, hurry, oh, hurry. Come on, shove off, you guys. Let's get out of here. Hi, Skip. Nice to see you. Yeah, I'll bet. Come on, give me these. Now, what's the big idea? You fellas know better than this. We were only trying to help Gruber out. Yeah, the money will cheer him up. Skip, think how he suffered. What are you handing me, suffered? All he had was his tonsils out. Yeah, but they were that big. Oh, <laughs> you guys, you crap tournament. Have, did you all forget about Eagle-Eyed Binghamton? Who cares about that creep? Yeah. Don't jump in the bay. Uh -huh. No, no, won't hurt him. All right, everybody, don't move. <laughs> uh, Binghamton. <laughs> Roman orgy and crap tournament. I really got you this time. All right, Carpenter, the funds. Impound the funds. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I... I tripped over my roots. Oh, you're clapping. Oh, no, 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 Captain. Take it easy on the boys, sir. It was all for a good cause. They were, they were just trying to help a, a sick buddy, sir. Oh, a sick buddy, my foot. These men are all reduced to apprentice seamen. Apprentice seamen? Took me six years to make this way. All right, Carpenter, let's go. We've done a fine day's work. <laughs> Captain, you forgot your tree. Uh, here, sir. Oh, oh! God, you almost killed me with that thing. Uh, well, I'm sorry, sir. I forgot to yell timber. <laughs> timber! <laughs> Seabird, break on you guys. If I wasn't such a helpless invalid. Yeah, I know. You'd get them in worse trouble than they're already in. <laughs> Seamer. Skip, we better get going. Gonna be late for the physical. Oh, yeah. Hey, physical? You coming down with something, Skip? No, Mr. Weisenheimer, I'm not. But if you must know, it's the annual officer's checkup. Now, come on, you guys keep your noses clean. Now, don't worry about your tonsils. I can hardly tell they're gone. <laughs> I'm sure sorry we messed things up for you, Groove. Ah, you guys meant well. It's all account of that Binghamton. Yeah. Hey, I think I know a way to get rid of him. How's that, Groove? One of the Yobinleys. He's got an uncle with the Mafia. <laughs> ah, they probably want too much money. <laughs> hey, what's up, Doc? Good news, Groover, good news. I've checked your chart and your ship shape. You can collect your gear and go home with the guy. Hey, that's You're great. Let's go, Groove. We can sure use you. Thanks, Doc. Look, will you make up my bill? Put a good tip in for yourself. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, gentlemen, out of the sick bay and back to the war. Now, what do we do first? Make some booze or uh, load some dice? Hey, look, fellas, the creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, that x-ray machine was cold. <laughs> what makes you do a little thing here? Your eye test, sir, room five. Oh, really? Room five? Well, I like what I see right here. Huh? How about you and me taking a little martini break later on? What do you say? <laughs> oh, why not? We could... What are you men hanging around here for? This is not a pool hall. <laughs> I just got up from a sick bed, sir, and these men are visiting me. Oh, knock it off, you gold brick. Now get out of here, all of you. And don't you steal any of the blankets. Captain. <laughs> oh, boy, would I like to see him in here for a while. Would that be a break? Maybe we'll be lucky he'll catch some kind of virus. You know, like the bubonic plague. <laughs> I got an idea. Suppose Binghamton thought there was something wrong with him. What are you driving at? Well, he just took an x-ray, right? Suppose something bad should show up. Hey, you mean put the fix on the film? Just enough to keep him out of action for a couple of days. Wait a minute, Verge. There's just one slight hitch. How do you get hold of the x-ray? Chaps, it's as good as done. <laughs> Hi, Kitten. How you doing? Oh, Virgil, baby. I mean, uh, Gunner's mate, Edward. Where have you been keeping yourself? Oh, you know, the war and all that jazz. Oh, well, let me help you with them. You'll strain yourself. <laughs> now, remember, Virgil, no funny stuff in here. Now, how do you know me? When it comes to dark rooms, I'm all business. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Captain, 
Captain, we should be getting those lab reports any minute. Well, there's no hurry, Doctor, and especially when I know that I'm as healthy as a horse. <laughs> a seahorse. <laughs> little zingered. Sorry to disturb you, Doctor. Here are the x-rays. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you, nurse. Don't take any wooden thermometers. <laughs> She's a cute little thing. And see, no one of you doctors are always hanging around the hospitals. <laughs> oh, no. Huh? Oh, no, this is just awful. It's terrible. Yeah, awful, uh, terrible. Why, why, awful? What terrible? Why, why, why? This, this X-ray. Oh. I don't know when I've seen a condition like this. Yeah, I'd go along with that, yeah. Poor man, he can't last 48 hours. Isn't that a shame? Oh, 48 hours oh, to live, you mean? Oh, isn't that? Wouldn't you hate to be in his shoes for heaven? What's his name? I'll send him some flowers. His name's down here on the bottom of the plate. Wallace Burton... Wallace Burton? Oh, what a coincidence. That's almost like my name, you know, Wallace Burton. I... Wallace Burton what? Binghamton. Oh, what a relief. You can't... What a load. I... Binghamton. You mean that mess is me? Why didn't you come in sooner, Captain? Maybe we could have done something. How could you stand the pain? There must have been pain. Oh, I have no idea about the pain, but I thought it was a bowl of chili I had last night. <laughs> it's awful. This is terrible. I'm cut down to my prime. Maybe I should call Lieutenant Carpenter. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't call him. Don't call anybody. Don't let anybody know. It would destroy morale if they knew that their dauntless leader was ill, the tiger of Taratupa, with only 48 hours to live. Colors, huh? <laughs> Told you it was a snap. Yeah, it's great to know you're in perfect shape. Hard as a rock, strong as a bull. <laughs> oh, uh, Skip, uh, you won't tell the guys I fainted during the blood test. And, uh, <laughs> you know how they talk. Oh, uh, that no, Captain. Past your medical okay, huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, uh, it's great to be out of the hospital, isn't it, sir? Know that you're alive and kicking. <laughs> uh, alive and kicking? Yeah. <laughs> What's with him? I don't know. Maybe the blood test got to him, too. Hey! It's that hit-and-run nip sub. He's showing us some broad daylight. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, Chuck. Look at Bingham. Hey, he's not paying any attention to those shells. Captain, watch out, run for it! Let's go get him. Only 48 hours to go. Why is it you, Wally? Why is it always you? <laughs> come on, Captain. Let go of me, man. Let's take your hands off of me. What's the matter with you, Captain? You almost got yourself killed out oh, there. Oh, I don't care. What's the difference? Hey, Skip, look. The sub's diving. We lived through it. Oh, what is the difference? I tell you, I don't care. Bullets, bombs, shells, I don't care how I go. I've only got 48 hours more. 48 hours? What are you mumbling about, Captain? Clinton, you should have seen my x-rays. I shouldn't tell you this, but that's how long they gave me to, to live. Ooh, who did, you, mean, you mean to tell me the doctors told you you have only two days left to live? And Is that the truth? Crush heart and hope to die? No, oh, I'm going to take him with me, aren't you? <laughs> Why bother with you? Come on, sir. We'll, we'll take you back to your office. Come on. Good idea, Clint. Let me take one last look at yes, my sir. <laughs> Here you are, Captain. I radioed Tom Fleet and told him about the submarine. That... Captain Bainton! He's been hit. So where did they get you? You look like a ghost. A ghost? <laughs> Not yet, Carpenter. He's still got 48 hours. Chuck! <laughs> What's going on here? What's wrong? Hold, hold it, hold it. Hold him, will you? Hold him. Will you? Come here, come here. Now look, Chuck. 48. 48 hours? <laughs> now look, Carpenter, you take over. 
and try to get his mind off of it. You understand? We're going to go to the doctors. Maybe we can do something we can do to help anyway, huh? Come on. Come on, Chuck. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Don't worry, Captain. Sooner or later, we all go to meet the big admiral in the sky. <laughs> Meet the big admiral in the sky. Did you hear that, Al Rock? Yes. I'm gonna meet the big admiral. <laughs> oh, yeah, I tell you guys, it sure feels great to be out of that sick bay. Hey, how many blankets did you take, Brew? <laughs> that ain't Skippy's in there. <laughs> Binghamton. Oh, he sure looks shook up. Yeah, nice going, Verge. You sure did a job on that x-ray, uh, boy. It wasn't easy. I uh, had my hands full all the time. <laughs> hey, what are we standing around for, huh? With Binghamton and Dry Dock, the lid's off for the crap tournament. Come on. Last guy on a boat loads the dice. <laughs> Grab the bag. I've been sick. Come on. <laughs> Is there anything I can do, sir? Cut down on my prime. Irony of it all. Believe me, sir. The Navy will never forget you. Never forget me. All these years behind the desk. Some exciting career I've had, believe me. But, sir, somebody had to do all that paperwork, and if I may say so, you did it superbly, sir. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if... if they named a requisition form after you, sir. Requisition form? You just hear some nitwit clerk saying, hand me a Binghamton, and we're all out of Wally's. Some tribute. <laughs> Captain of Binghamton's office. <laughs> yes, sir. It's Admiral Rogers, sir. Maybe a last-minute promotion. <laughs> That's a big blabber. Oh, uh, not you, Admiral. I hear you were just shelled with that Nip Raider. Shelled? A nip Raider? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, 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 Admiral. All right, he's being refueled at Mashubi Island. That base is too well camouflaged for an airstrike, so we're sending over a boatload of Marine Raiders. They'll attack within 48 hours. 48 hours, there's that number again. <laughs> yes, Admiral. Oh, yes, thank you very much. That's good news. Thank you, Admiral. <coughs> you hear that, Carpenter? The Marines are going to be storming the beach. Wait a minute. Why let the Marines have all the glory? With Mikhail's help, I could raid Mashubi Island, too, couldn't I? Sir, attacking a Japanese stronghold with just a couple of sailors. It... Just think how that would look in the history books. First, it was John Paul Jones. Then Admiral Dewey. Then fighting Wally Bing. <laughs> then am I? Oh, get me my combat gear. But, sir, you may not come back alive. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Death before dishonor. Oh, nothing is going to stop fighting Wally Binghamton. Oh, I hurt my whole hand. Get this man. I think it's Bruce. No. Hey, come on, you guys. Speed it up. The Patsy's. Whoops. I mean, the customers will be arriving any minute. <laughs> this is your pet boss speaking. Oh, oh, my God. I saw you. Oh, got it. Oh. Oh. And what, if I may ask, are you eight balls up to? Just preparing for our usual social skip, you know. Yeah, I know. Boy, won't you guys ever learn? It's all off. You mean no crap tournament? The skip, the decks have all been cleared. Yeah, and Mark, too. Yeah, Binghamton's out of action. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Don't you guys know the score? The captain's on the critical list. You sure he's that sick skip? I mean... Maybe there's been some mistake. Yeah, there's no mistake in that x-ray. He's got 48 hours. And that's daylight saving time. Uh, standard time's a lot less. No, <laughs> here comes Plug Eye now. What? On your places. Come on. Hey, you think you found out? Miguel! Parker! All right, boys, this is a scramble. We're going out on a mission, on a double. Gun ho! <laughs> mission, Captain? Aren't you forgetting your condition? No, I'm not. But when I'm gone, Mikhail, they're going to remember me. Fighting Wally Binghamton. <laughs> now, let's go, boys. It's a long ride to Mashubi. Mashubi Island? Why, it's loaded with nips. We'll never get out alive. It's a suicide mission. I knew you were a bunch of cowards, but it makes no difference. You're going with me, and that's an order. Now, Mikhail, I'm going on board. We move out in five minutes. <laughs> of all the harebrained, nutty, ridiculous, Mishubi Island. <clears throat> uh, Skip. I've got a little something to tell you. Yeah, huh? you, you might find it interesting. Well, no, why, what is it? Come on, tell me. The, uh... Captain isn't dying. All right, the captain. <laughs> what? He only thinks he is. You see, Skip, I put the fix on his x-rays, figuring it 
might keep them off our backs. <laughs> you put the fi- Oh, for the love of... Come on. Well, what are you going to do? What else? I'm, I'm going to tell Binghamton before he decides to invade Tokyo Bay. Captain, get Binghamton. What is it, Miguel? Wow, wow, wow. Don't kind of chicken out on the rain. Oh, no, sir. Now, listen, sir. You're not going to die. I don't want any excuses. I... I'm not going to lie. Hey, it's the truth, sir. Somebody fouled up your x-rays. You're in perfect health. You're just saying that to get out of going on the raid. Oh, no, <laughs> sir. No, sir. <laughs> now, listen. I, well, I'll even come clean, sir. The fellas fixed up your x-rays. and but It's just a gag, sir. Just a gag. <laughs> a gag? Uh-huh. Oh, I dropped a volley. <laughs> Oh, of all the wonderful pieces of news I've had in a long time. Bless you, boys. Bless you. The punishment is off. You've all got your rates back. Hey, that's great, sir. Uh, you should be critically ill more often. <laughs> uh, naturally, now, sir, we don't only have to worry about going out on admission, do we? Well, I... Uh, mission? What mission is that? Is oh, the mission. <laughs> oh, oh, boys, your captain loves a little gag himself now and then, you know. <laughs> I mean, would I horn in on the Marines? <laughs> they love to go on red. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, sir, Admiral Rogers calling you. Oh, thank you, son. Thank you, Admiral. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, I signaled him that we were going on the raid. Oh, no. What did I say to him? How about you? I know, I know, I know. I know. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Admiral. Congratulations, Binghamton. I'm proud of you for volunteering to go on that raid. <laughs> oh, dear, yeah, well, uh, thank you very much, Admiral, but I, I had to call that raid off, Admiral. There, there, there are high tides, lots of high tides, and the, and the water is full of jellyfish. <laughs> Can't cancel out now, Binghamton. The Marines are on their way back to the base. <laughs> now, it's all up to you. And blast that fuel dump. And good luck. We'll all be with you in spirit. <laughs> You'll be with us in spirit. Thank you. He can't do that to us. Uh, suicide. We'll never get back. No, 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 no. Chin up, man. Chin up, chin up. You heard what the Admiral said. He said he'd, he'd be with you in spirit. Bye. Oh, <laughs> man, you'll be with us in spirit, Captain. It's a rough assignment, but we're all in this together. Now, come on, you glory hounds. We're moving out. With any luck, we'll be in Mishubi by dawn. Now, come on, let's go. Dawn? Well, I'm worse off than I was before. Before, I had 48 hours to live. Now, I've only got 12. <laughs> So far, so good. Oh, stow it, you boo. <laughs> Nothing is good when you're this far behind enemy lines. <laughs> Skip, hip destroyer on sonar, range 1,500 yards, bearing 250, and closing fast. Jump and Jonah, hold on to that wheel, will you come? Well, let's get out of here, McCann. There's no sightseeing tour. Come on, move. Wait a minute. There he is. It's too late to run, Captain. Tinker, kill your engines, quick. Quiet, boys. Not a peep out of anybody. And pray they don't spot us. Now I lay me down to sleep. <laughs> Hold your breath and count to ten. I can't right now. You want to kill us all? <laughs> Stand on one foot and swallow twelve times. Oh. All clear on sonar, Skip. Nip's out of range. Boy, that was sure a squeaker. Well, I'll say one thing for that nip. Let's get the hiccups out of the captain. Parker, will you? Get a paper bag. Save your energy, Captain. Save your energy from a shooby. Okay, Tinker, pour on the coal. All ahead, coal. With your permission, sir. All right, you guys, listen to me. We're going to go in through the back door and try to take them by surprise. Now, easy does it. Follow me. Here we go. Come on. Park it. Yeah. You take my helmet. As of now, you're a captain. Hey, 
a field promotion. Boy, my mother always said I was a born leader. Yeah, you're also a natural born decoy. Those nips always go for the commanding officer first. <laughs> Stay ahead of me at all times. There's nip snipers everywhere. <laughs> Follow me, Anson. <laughs> So far, so good. Tell Gruber to pass the word to the captain. We're almost at the oil dump. Hey, captain. Hey, what do you know? I've been covering my own rear. <laughs> Skip. Cast on one captain. And Mr. Parker, too. Oh, no. He must have got themselves lost. Well, what are we going to do? Well, the only thing we can do, worry about him later. we got a mission to carry out. Please, sir, take care of him. Especially the little realm. <laughs> Now, ten paces to the north, and we should hit the trail. One, two, three. Ah! I, I, I surrender. That's my gun. I'm surrendering. I... Oh, for heaven's sake. Get my gun. You got it. Got it. Sneaking up on people like you. What is that? That's... I don't want to. That's a gun. Oh, a menace. Stop that. Shh. <laughs> Nips are all around, sir. Oh, shh. Me. They're not the enemy. You're the enemy. Enemy, enemy, enemy. <laughs> Foul <laughs> luck being stuck behind enemy lines with a boob like you. Yeah, well, you're not much fun either. Be quiet. <laughs> I'm taking over here. Let Mikhail hog all the gore if he wants to, but we're going back to the boat. Don't you think we ought to have a roll call? Uh, uh, Binghamton! Yeah. All present. <laughs> I'm mad with you. Oh. Oh, no, look at all those nips. I thought this was supposed to be the back door. What do we do? How about running, Skip? I hear it's the best thing for a long, healthy life. One thing's for sure, we got to create a diversion fast. Come on, boys, let's go. Hey, Captain! Shh, no names! No names! Do you want to wake up and go? What happened? What's going on? I don't know, but it's just what the doctor ordered. Let's go. Ah, oh, not so fast, Jack. You are a prisoner. Hey, Captain, what? Stone names. Stone names. Uh, he's the captain. He's the captain. I talk only to superior officer. Perhaps you'd like to discuss surrender over a glass of sake, honorable captain. Uh, Captain, uh, well, gee, that's awfully nice of you, but, but I never drink while I'm surrendering. Oh, <laughs> Captain, the glass is sake. I'm the captain. I'm the captain. Come on, back. Trade the trade. Captain, the trade. The skip must have blown up the dump. Yippee! Just stop that babbling. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here fast. We still gotta find Parker and Binghamton. Let's go. I can't go another step. My feet are killing. Well, I'll see you, sir. Can't keep the guys waiting. Wait a minute. You can't leave me here with all these nips all around. Neil. Neil? Oh, it's no time to pray now, sir. Just pray you don't get saddle sores. Neil. <laughs> Trying to kill you, there the other one is. 
I've got to rest. Uh, if you do, sir, it'll be your final resting place. Come on, we better get on board. Come on, boys, let's go. Let's move. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Wait a minute, Mr. Dunst. Give me my helmet back. Oh, uh, Indian giver. <laughs> 